Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a red carpet inspired makeup look. I really hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do down in the comments below and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe. And if you want to see how we got this red carpet glam then keep watching. I'm going to be starting by doing the face first today because I don't want the eyes to be too heavy for this look. I want to concentrate more on bronzy glowing skin and then less makeup on the eyes. Well, try to anyway. So I'm going to be using the MAC Strobe Cream first. This is in the shade Gold Light. And I'm just going to apply this all over the face. You can, if you want to, only apply it to areas which you want to highlight. But I want to be extra glowing today, so it's going everywhere. Then before foundation today, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of colour correcting and there are just a couple of areas on my face at the moment which are quite red. So if I colour correct them now, then it just means that I don't have to apply a lot of products after. So I'm going to be using this green concealer here and this is a Makeup Forever concealer palette. All I'm doing is just taking some on my finger and I'm just dotting them just over any little pimples or anything and I do have a little bit of eczema as well which is looking a little bit red so that's going to cover it as well. And then for foundation I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I did recently buy this one, it's the Maybelline Fit Me foundation but I've not tried it yet and I'm scared to use it for the first time today in case I don't like it. So I'm going to stick to one that I know. So I'm just going to blend this all around with my beauty sponge. I had to throw my beauty blender away because it was just so disgusting there was no hope for it so I went and bought some of the Real Techniques sponges that I really like as well okay so I'm happy with that foundation it's covered everything that I need it to and you can see that the show cream is coming through as well which is really nice and glowy for concealer I'm going to be using these two again because they're just a really nice combination for me at the moment. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in the shade Light Warm. And then bounce that in. And I'm also going to take any excess off my sponge as well and run that over the lid. My eyes are quite dry at the moment so this is a lighter way to prime the eyes than using um, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then just using a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm just going to set the very inner parts of the eyes for now and that's it. Because we're going to be using a lot of cream products still so we don't want too much powder on the face but my under eyes is the place that always creases first so I'm just going to use a little bit of powder just to set that in place and then to contour and bronze up the face a little bit I'm using this cream bronzer from Chanel which is very well loved you can see and I'm just taking this on a contour brush from Real Techniques and with a light hand I'm using either patting or circular motions and just placing it down where I contour and then up onto the cheeks a little bit. I don't want to swirl the brush around too much because we don't want the foundation to be moving around much. And then any excess I like to just take along the jawline. Up onto the forehead as well. And now we've done bronzer I'm just going to take my sponge again and it's got no excess product in but I just want to blend everything together and push it all into the skin. Now 
Next, I'm using a cream highlighter, and this is the MAC Cream Colour Base in the shade Hush. I'm just taking that on my finger and just applying it to the high points of the face. And then again, just taking my sponge and pushing all that together. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of the powder and I'm going to use a fluffy brush this time. And I'm going to use a really small amount to set the rest of the face because we still want that glow to be shining through. I'm going to do a little bit more contouring. I'm going to use this shade here from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm taking a little contour brush. And I'm just going to press it on because I'm aware we've used a lot of cream. So if I start trying to rub and blend things out, it's going to start moving all the product around as well. Which we don't want. And then for bronzer, I'm taking my favourite at the moment, which is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. And I'm using this brush today because it's really soft and it doesn't move anything around underneath. So I'm just going to apply this really lightly onto the cheeks, around the forehead. I'm going to leave the skin there for now and go straight onto the eyes. I have just quickly gone over my brows again because I went over them with my foundation when I applied that. And for the eyes I want to do a nice classic gold eye because I always see that on the red carpet and it looks really really nice. So to start I'm going to use this Bitter Start Shadow from the Zoeva Cuckoo Blend Palette. And I'm just taking this all over the lid because we did apply concealer here so we need to set that in place. And then to begin with, I'm going to go in with this Benefit Hula Bronzer. I want to keep the browns that we use quite neutral today. Usually I wear like really warm reddish browns. But I think for this look, more neutral browns will look really nice. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use this shadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Latte. And this is also quite neutral, it's not too cool and it's not too warm either. And I don't want it too heavy, I just want a nice wash of shadow. And I'm gonna be doing winged liner again as usual, so I'm gonna wing it out towards the brow. I'm going to go in with a little bit of frappe from Makeup Geek. This is a little bit more warmer, but I'm just going to use this on the very outer part of the lid. And then for the lid colour, I'm going to use Pure Ganache from the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette, and this is my favourite gold shadow of all time. I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray because I really want this to pop. And then for the very outer corners, I'm using this shadow from the Stila in the Light palette and it's called Sandstone. Of course, you don't have to have all these palettes. I just don't have the right shades that I want all in one. And I'm just using a tiny bit of that, just on the outer part. And because this is more of a red carpet look, I'm going to be doing my wind liner, but I'm not going to be doing a really dramatic one. I just want to keep it quite soft.
For the under eyes, I want to keep them quite bare. So I'm first going to take my pencil brush and I'm just using a little bit of the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just going to run a little bit of that underneath. And I'm taking Latte on this little flat brush and I'm just going to press this into the roots of my lower lashes. For the lower waterline I'm going to use this new pencil from Rimmel. For mascara I'm going to use Benefit's Roller Lash. And then while my false lashes are just drying, I'm going to take Kitten Shadow from the Steeler palette on a little pencil brush and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. And then I'm just going to titivate my brows a little bit. And I'm just going to run some concealer under them as well. And then use some of that same kitten eyeshadow and just place some right here. Now it's time to finish the base and it wouldn't be a red carpet without using Champagne Pop. So I'm going to take that on this brush from Morphe and I'm going to apply that in all my usual places. And to make that pop even more I'm going to spray my face with setting spray. When you can feel that's nearly dry, I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then what I will do to make sure that's all blended is just take a little bit more bronzer and apply that over the top. And then for lips, I'm going to do a classic red carpet red lip. So I'm going to first line them with Ruby Woo lip pencil. And then finally over the top, I'm using this liquid lipstick from Joanne Cosmetics in the shade Immortal. And then very, very last but not least, I'm going to apply my lashes and these are the House of Lashes Iconics. So that completes this red carpet makeup look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did down in the comments below. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.